Hey guys, how are you going? Welcome to your fifth Zvelte tutorial. This one is going to be on applying styles using CSS. Okay, so um, Zvelte makes it super easy for you to apply CSS styles um, to your elements. Okay, so uh, let's just say, for example, I've got this. Uh, I've got an H1 tag right here, and we can just say for some text, um, this is a heading. Okay, so now, if I wanted to apply CSS styles to this H1 tag, I can quite easily do so by simply heading inside the style tag right up here, and I can just say something like this. I can say H1, and I can say background, and set this to be something like just a light gray. I can add some padding of 15 px, and I can add a text color right here of blue. So now, as we may expect, if I was to save this and go inside the browser, we can see those changes do in fact be applied. Okay, so um, as we can see also, this right here is very similar and it's almost identical to using plain HTML and CSS. Okay, so um, that right there is the absolute basics when it comes to applying styles to your um, elements within Zvelte. Now, um, one thing to keep in mind is that all of these styles right here, um, they're going to be scoped to the components they are declared in. So for example, right here, I've got this h1 style. Now, this will only affect h1 tags within the app.svelte component right here. So, we're going to now create a second component just to demonstrate how this works. So inside the source directory, I'm going to create a new file right here. I'm going to be calling this one um, other.svelte. Okay, and then inside this component, I'm going to simply create a new h1 tag. And I can just say, um, let's just do this is other and then heading. Okay, so now. I can quite easily import the other.svelte into the app one. So I can say right up here, I can do import other from then dot forward slash other.svelte just like that. Okay, so now I've got the other component. So if I was to now, or sorry, um, if I want to render out this H1, I can quite simply go down here and I can make a new other just like this. Okay, and if I was to save this right here, we can see going inside the browser, we get this is the other heading right there. Now, as we can see, the H1 styles have only applied to the H1 declared within this app.svelte. Obviously, this, um, this H1 right here belongs to the other, so um, it is not being affected by the H1 styles uh, applied in this component. So uh, we can further see this by going inside the browser once again, and we can see that uh, upon inspecting, we get this special class applied to the H1, which of course gives it its styles, and we can see that class was not applied to the H1 just down here. Now, one last thing to cover is what if I actually do want, um, you know, uh, these styles right here to be applied globally? Well, you can use this syntax right here. You can just say global, just like this, and then you can put your selector inside there. So we can say H1, and now it is going to apply these styles globally to all H1 tags. So if I was to save this right here, go in the browser, we can see now those styles get applied to, of course, every single H1, and we can see there is not much going on. It is simply just an H1 uh, style right there. There's no fancy classes, anything like that. So it's all very straightforward. And that is how to apply, or that is how to use CSS when it comes to Zvelte. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.